Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be the only resource you are going to need for re-rolling in the Seven Deadly Sins. I'm going to walk you through on the best way to do it. You should be able to do it in 10 or 11 minutes once you get it down, and you should be able to get an optimized account for you to get the best start possible within an hour, hour and a half tops. If you follow what I do in this video, I will walk you through step by step. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so a couple things. First of all, you don't have to do this. This is just if you're a min-maxer, a try-hard, and you want to spend an hour, hour and a half on getting yourself a really good start. The game makes it kind of easy, and I know I was super confused when I dove into doing it, and some of the videos out there were helpful, some of them weren't, so I wanted to do one where I do it right, show you the heroes you want, walk you through it step by step so that you cannot mess it up if you walk through it with me. I've got a brand new seven deadly sins right here and i'm gonna start it up and show you exactly how the process goes so we click uh yes on that and uh the first time it, it it's gonna be downloading some stuff and, and and may take a little bit longer than normal because it's kind of you can see it's downloading files i, I wanted to make sure and do it exactly how it's going to be for you as a brand new player uh now up in the top right You'll, you'll, you want to be, you know, keeping an eye on if there's an option to skip. And you can also spam left click on any screen that isn't a loading screen, especially if it's text, and sometimes it can help you. All right, so you can see I'm going to click skip here. Now, the first, like, five or six minutes, you can't mess anything up. It's, it's impossible. And uh, for this first couple minutes, you just have to kind of watch. There's really nothing you can do to speed this up. And uh, there's a way, a lot of people make a mistake and they only roll once. I know I was guilty of this. I was only getting one re-roll and I was restarting. That is extremely inefficient. There's a way that you can pull 23 champions and your odds of getting a really good one is like 3%. So if you do this 10, 15 times, you're going to have one of those lucky instances where you get two or three really good champions and you're off and rolling. Now, a lot of people are curious... How do I know which champions to go for? They're pulling up tier lists and stuff. So what am I going to do? I'm going to show you right here. This is what you're going for. Uh, now, it, now, obviously, if you ask 10 different people, you might get 10 different answers on exactly what is the best possible start. Now, in my opinion, you're going to want the green Meliodas. Uh, you're just going to want that. His counterattack is so good, and he's going to help you later on in the campaign. Let's make sure and skip this. Um, I'm, try I'm getting distracted by talking, but... Um, yeah, you're going to want the green, the green melee, and the, the interesting note is, if you're a premium player, you can actually buy him for $40, there's like a starter bundle, uh, I'll try to remember to show it to you in game, there's a starter bundle where he will be one of the prizes that you acquire from that bundle, so, I guess if you're a premium player who's going to spend money, the perfect start would be two of the non melios and then buy the melio so you get the three really good champions right off the bat let's skip this here now if you're a free to play your best start would probably be getting getting the green melio plus one of the other ones below it um they're all really good and and honestly this isn't something that you like have to do uh the the game provides you with champions and, and ways to acquire champions you should be just fine if, if, if you play the game and you're active and uh, even if you don't sit here and re-roll for an hour or two you should be totally fine when it comes to completing the game and getting yourself into the end game eventually this is just for those of you out there who are like me I like to get the best heart that I possibly can so I went ahead and I re-rolled I think it took me about an hour and a half to get uh, I went with the route of getting one of the of the ones below Green Melly, and then I bought Green Melly for forty dollars. I think I've spent about fifty dollars in total, and uh, that was the route that I went. I, now, in hindsight, now that I know how to do it a little bit faster, and I kind of know what I'm looking for, I probably would have re-rolled until I got two of the champions on that list, and then bought Green Melio. So. Uh, that's how I would have done it now, but back when I started my main account, I just got the, uh, the, uh, which one did I, I got the Green King, and then I kept that and, and bought the, uh, Green Melio, so, that's what I did, um, I can't skip this, it's kind of configuring game info, um, but that's the way I did it, and, uh, like I said, if you're free to play, just go until you get Green Melio, and then you'll be off and running, if, if you want to super min-max it, get two of the ones on this list, 
or at least two SSRs, uh, and then buy the green milio is kind of the optimal route. So this is at 97%. Should be good to go any second here. And and there's all sorts of tier lists out there. You can Google and and, and pull them up. There's I mean there's all sorts of different ones. The uh, I've kind of done some research on Reddit, watched a few videos, talked to a few players, and this is kind of the consensus list that I saw. These are the champions I saw being mentioned most often. Now, obviously, there's going to be people out there who disagree. Anytime you do a video like this, people are going to show up and say, oh, you should totally go for this champion. I get it. This is just my opinion on the ones I would go for if I were to do it again. So uh, right here, you'll see you don't want to have this auto selected. You want to have that unselected and spam the text. And then it'll kind of walk you through. Uh, as of right now, there's nothing you could have messed up. You're, you're just trying to get through this stuff as fast as possible. You're clicking. This is one where you can skip. All right. So loading screens, you can't really do anything about. Uh, you just got to kind of sit here and put up with it. But, but like I said, as of now, you couldn't have done anything wrong. If you kind of started with me in the video, you, th there's nothing you could have messed up yet. So we spam through here. And uh, I'm not going to dive too much into explaining the gameplay. I, I mainly want to focus on just the re-rolling process and kind of walk you through. Make sure you're able to do that right. Uh, this stuff will all make sense to you once you actually play the game. And there's probably all sorts of guides out there. And maybe I'll even do some stuff to dive into it if, uh, if this type of content is something you guys are interested in on my channel. All right. So we're kind of getting through here super efficiently. And when we get to a point where it's possible that you could mess up, uh, I will make sure and, and kind of walk you through so that you don't have to worry about missing any steps here. All right. This is all stuff we're just kind of spam clicking through. And, uh, you know, like I, like I said, you should be able to do, especially once you get it down, your first one might take 15 minutes. After you get this process down, you should be able to crank them out in 10 or 11 minutes and, uh, get the, and really get the account you want within an hour and a half or so. Which, I think it's worth it. Um, but, that's my opinion. Some people don't really like to bother with that type of stuff. They just like to go ahead and play. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. You totally can clear the, uh, the the content of the game and get to your, get yourself to the end game without doing this. This is just for those of you that really want to min-max it. This is kind of walking you through that process. Alright, so here we go. We're still spam clicking. Spam through this. Use the uh, the ultimate ability there. And uh, the, the cool thing about the reroll process on this game is you don't have to like uninstall or close the game or delete your account. Uh, I'll show you. It's actually very simple. And once you do this two or three times, you're going to really get it and, and it'll make sense to you. I just know I was super confused on what to do how to do it people were texting me stuff on discord do this i was like what and, and then i didn't know what champions you know there's different tier lists different people say different things uh some people say go for this one go for this one so that's why i did kind of a bigger list here uh on ones that you can look for and leave it up there so that's easy for you to uh really compare instead of just kind of saying go for this you can actually see the image and the uh the title skip this All right, another loading screen. Can't skip this. We just got to watch. Okay. Spam clicking. And it should really only be a couple more minutes before I get you to the fun part where we are pulling summons. And I can kind of show you if it's an account I would keep or not. Or if I would re-roll. Because how long has it been? It's been about, what, seven and a half minutes or so? I can't really see the exact clock on my recording software. Alright, spamming through this. Okay, spam through this. <laughs> I 
Odds are you'll get uh, really acclimated with these with these fights and these scenes <laughs> if you're if you're one of those people who does this 10 or 15 times to really get a good start. All right, there we can see we got some diamonds. Those are what you use for your summons. And we'll skip this. Keep checking the top right of your screen for those skip options. Sometimes you have to click on the screen for it to pop up that you can skip. Another loading screen. All right, so we're getting pretty close to the point where you could mess it up here. Um, after we kind of do Elizabeth's outfit and all that stuff. So we're spamming through here. It's going to show you the costume mechanic. Have you throw an outfit on her here pretty soon in the tavern. All right, so we go to the tavern. It wants you to talk to Elizabeth and change her clothes because her clothes got all ripped up in the battle so we click here change it's gonna throw the outfit on her all right we go back and spam through these and there is 30 diamonds and that will be the main bulk of our first summon all right so now we go draw now this is where we're gonna do our first summon we're gonna go draw 11 times. We're gonna do a big summon right here. This is our first big summon we're gonna do. There's two more summons that we're gonna do before we reroll. So now it's kind of the part where you should really start to pay attention and uh, and kind of see what I do here for the next couple minutes. We can skip this on the top right. And there you can see the uh, we did get an SSR, so that's good. That's a pretty good start so far. Uh, now this is an account that would be a candidate for a premium player because you can buy that green Melio. Uh, we already, and now we can actually, we can just type in, you can type in your real name in case it's something you want to use. So, you know, show fly, sure, why not? Okay, put that in. Spam click here. And we get a little gift. skipping through all this stuff and uh, I made the mistake of only summoning once seeing what I got and then re-rolling uh, but I'll actually show you how you can do multiple ones and that'll really speed up the process for you all right so now we, we still got to keep go world we still have to follow the directions here stay with me here this is where a lot of people mess this up the uh, the campaign pig moves and right here, this is where you, you have the potential uh, to make a mistake. And this is where you gotta kind of do it right. So we gotta just walk through what they have us do. Set. And click back. And it wants you to auto set. And auto set. Yes. Spam the text. Click here. And then we click on the enemy team. And right here, we get another diamond that'll help us do a single pull. And right here, when it wants you to click start, this is where we're not gonna click start. We're gonna, we're gonna hard close our game. We're gonna exit the game. Uh, however that is, if you're on your phone, close the app, whatever, minimize it, shut it down, whatever you gotta do to get rid of it. So. I'm going to hard close the app and then I will be right back. Alrighty, and now I am back. I hard closed the app, restarted it, and now it is gonna load up. Instead of me clicking start to continue to follow the tutorial, if I hard close, it'll bring me back into town. Alrighty, so then we've already got, it's gonna, it's gonna automatically have us synced up into what instance we are running. So we come back in. Got the uh, loading screen here. And we did already get the one SSR, uh, but it wasn't Green Melio, so it'd be more of a candidate for a premium, because I really do recommend at least getting him. Um, so if I was free to play, if, if I don't get Green Melio on this next reroll, it'd be something that I, that I scrap and restart. But before we have to go through all this again, we do get... Now, okay, so instead of clicking start, now we're back and we have control. We're back at the main screen. So what we can do is go to draw. And we can draw one time. We have three. We can actually watch an ad. 
So this is a way for us to get even an extra pull. So if I watch the ad, already I, I fast forwarded through that so you don't have to sit through the ad, but I watched the ad and then it gives me a free single summon. So I can skip here and boom, not what we're looking for. Okay, so we hit resume. And then now is going to be our second big pull. Or, or no, I think I have a, I think I have three diamonds. Yeah, I'm gonna draw one more with with my three. Leave myself the thirty left over. Thirty is what we need to do another big pull. So I got the summon. I got the big summon to start off with. Then the restart. Then the add summon. Then the single summon. And again, not what we're looking for. And now is gonna be the big moment where I get my second big summon, and I'll, and then I'll kind of assess if it's something I would re-roll or not. All right, so we're going to draw 11 times. And remember, this is all on one reroll. Nothing has been reset yet at all. This is one instance of doing this. This is how many champions we're pulling. All right, skip that. And okay, so we only got the one SSR. And it was not even one on my list. And it was not green Melio. So this would be one that I would reroll. But... Uh, I went super slow because I was walking you through. You're going to be able to do this in 10 or 11 minutes each time once you get the hang of it and do it two or three times. But at the end of this, when you decide you want to re-roll, you're going to click resume. And this is super easy. We're going to go menu, player info, and reset data. So it's going to say, are you sure? You want to proceed with the data reset. It's going to wipe everything. If you already spent money or something, you don't want to do this. Um, but I'll also show you if you go to the shop. This is the package I was talking about. If we go to purchase bundle. And we scroll over. This is the green Melio that I was talking about. And you see listed over there on the right. You can get it for $40. That's why kind of the perfect start for a premium player is getting two of the champions that I have on this list or at least two SSRs and then go buy Green Melio and you'll have three really good champions plus you know you'll already have the Green Melio that you got and the two others and you're off and running but free to play just go until you get Green Melio and you should be set so I would come out and I would go menu player info reset data click OK and boom all right so that's how you do it and now i am reset and you can see if i click on this it's going to be taking me through the tutorial and i would be doing the exact process that i did at the start of this video and i showed you how you can do your double summons if you go back do it with me walk through it step by step it'll make sense i promise it seems a little bit complicated once you do it two or three times it'll be super simple and it will make sense so uh yeah good luck on your re-rolls and definitely let me know if there's any champions that i missed out it's always helpful to drop that stuff down in the comments for people to read if there's a champion that should be on there that i left off or if there's a champion on there that you think is trash definitely drop it down in the comments so we can all kind of learn together this is a new hyped up game that we're all kind of trying to navigate and see if it's something we want to play or not and and kind of re-rolling there's lots of info out there so yeah the more that i can learn and we can all learn the better so uh yeah good luck with your re-rolls thank you for watching have a good rest of your day peace